Lauren Delsack here and let's continue looking at the horoscopes of the release of Zeitgeist, the movie. We saw in the first part that we looked just at the release date of June 8th, 2007, the first time it ever went up on the internet, but we do have a time, place, and date for the global premiere which received the award for the best documentary film. That is again November 10th, 2007. It premiered at 9.15 p.m. in Hollywood, California. Now when we look at this horoscope, we look at the ascendant in the sign of cancer, which represents the film's identity, and it is ruled by the moon. The moon happens to be in Sagittarius. It just so happens that it is in a square formation with the lunar nodal axis. We did not have a time on the June 8th release, but we saw that there was a possibility that it was very close to the transiting north node, and here we have the same situation once again. We can see that Jupiter, one of the final dispositors of this horoscope, has now moved into a closer conjunction with Pluto, and that conjunction would symbolize resource as well as establishing new perspectives. And in listening to radio interviews with Peter Joseph, the producer of the film, he speaks about how identity relies on belief systems. This film is about shattering belief systems, shattering perceptions also in relation to the government. So perceptions, government ruled by Pluto, Jupiter as a final dispositor in the sign of Sagittarius, it just seems to be that that's what it's all about, this film. We also see that Neptune in the 8th house, everything to do with the occult, things that are hidden. Interesting that Neptune in Aquarius with the mutual reception of Uranus in Pisces, we get this sense of revolution. The film actually ends with that word, if I remember correctly, and bringing in this Neptune Piscean theme of everything to do with the spiritual. Interesting that Uranus sits in the ninth house of publishing, internationalism. Neptune in the eighth of the occult is square the Scorpio sun. There is a sense here of an energy that needs to get to the bottom of it all, but to uncover knowledge perhaps and any time Neptune is configured with the Sun, we think of a spiritual dimension, enlightenment perhaps, and we see the Moon in the sign of Sagittarius, so there is an expression of opinion here, to stand up for what is right and to affect thought. With the alignment with Saturn, the square to Saturn, we almost have a seriousness of thought, the sense of strong ambition, certainly a seriousness of purpose with that square from Saturn to the moon. Zeitgeist in German translates to the spirit of the age, and according to Peter Joseph, the producer, he says the spiritual nature and awareness of a culture to see truth come out. If we look at the Sabian symbol for the moon, it lies at the third degree of Sagittarius. It is ruling the movie's identity. So the motive for this degree pair, again referring to Blaine Bovey's book, The Sabian Symbols and Astrological Analysis, the motive is rules and revolution, maintaining order or testing the rule. 3 Gemini lies at the Garden of the Tuileries, and 3 Sagittarius, 2 men playing chess. In Blaine's book, he explains the game of chess with the words, the origin of the words chess, check, and tile, protect and detect, cover and uncover, derive from the same strategic and architectural know-how, the technical skill to build, cover, and weave. Chess is a highly skilled game with definite rules, defining the moves of the 32 chessmen. Played according to the rules, the chess game calls for intelligence, strategy, and creativity. A breakdown of the rule of order would be like the chessmen getting up and telling you where to go. A revolution. 
Revolution is the refusal to follow the rules of the game, tearing down the king's palace, but leaving the gardens open and available to all. Apply this degree pair with a mind to test, overthrow, or uncover the real rules of the game. Look for the rules that maintain order, vestiges of a cultural past that inspire new moves, personal strategies that aim for checkmate in political End games. Be aware of sacrificing pawns for a kingdom, secret agendas, social ideals outside of the law, feeling hemmed in by imposed constraints. Consider secret communities that blend in a knack for detecting flaws in how things work. If you've seen the movie, I don't need to explain that further. Now, I am just fascinated with the draconic chart calculated off of this chart. If you're not familiar with draconic astrology, please watch my videos on that subject. Let's think in terms of looking at the true identity or the soul's identity of Zeitgeist. The draconic moon falls at the 30th degree of Sagittarius, the final degree of Sagittarius. The Sabian symbol is the Pope, coupled with 30 Gemini bathing beauties. Again from Blaine's book, bathing beauties is an image suggesting a public display of beauty with the intention of being seen. Bathing is an act of cleansing, such as washing in water. Hence, the beauties may be nude, free from all artifice. The Pope is an image of the human and worldly representative of the divine. The head of the Roman Catholic Church, the sovereign or supreme pontiff, to pontificate is to pronounce dogmatically with an attitude that may be in lesser morals pompous. Infallibility suggests a genius for speech or action that is sure to succeed. Apply this degree pair with a mind to the ancient sense of audience, a hearing, the importance of seeing and being seen. Think of gathered assemblies of listeners or spectators where what is heard and seen brings joy and happiness. Consider a sense of raw, naked, and open exposure. Radiant moments of recognition and appreciation. Let's look at the draconic on the outer wheel, the natal on the inner wheel. The synastry is just amazing. 